Good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Michael Xavier. Let me ask you a question. Do you recall sometime in December last year, the government had announced a special discount for those people who hadn't paid their summonses? Do you recall that? And if you had summonses, did you take advantage of it? Well, guess what? I'm one of those culprits. I actually took advantage of those summonses and paid them with a huge discount, saved a lot of money. And in that situation, my dear friends, being late was good. But have you thought about those people who had actually paid the summonses on time? They're probably knocking themselves on the wall and saying, I should have probably just waited a little longer. When we talk about Martha and Mary, I always see them as the sisters of paradox because of the fact that Martha always seems to be doing the right thing, at least as far as the common man would say she's been hardworking, keeping the house clean and uh, uh, being hospitable to Jesus. We, we read that in Luke chapter 10. And then Jesus supports Mary for sitting down there and just listening to him. Hmm. You wonder, right? How is that possible? And then again, in the case of Lazarus in John chapter 11 verses 19 to 27, we read that Jesus arrives four days late. And Martha looks at Jesus and says, hey, oh, come on, Lord Jesus. If only, you know, you were here, my brother wouldn't have died. And she looks with certainty and tells him, but even then, I know, I know, God would listen to you. But then Jesus replies that your brother will rise. And Martha, again, giving all the correct textbook answers, yes, 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 Jesus, I know that he will rise at the time of resurrection. But in verses 25 to 26, Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me shall live even though they die. Whoever who lives by believing in me shall never die. And he asked Martha, probably even looking at her eyes, do you? Belief. My dear friends, let's just rewind back to verse 11 of the same gospel in chapter 11. Jesus looks at his disciples and says, guess what, you know what, Lazarus is asleep and I'm going over there to wake him up. And if you continue reading in 14, Jesus continues to say, the fact that, hey, guess what, guys? You don't seem to understand. Lazarus is dead. And for your sake, I'm glad I'm not there. So that you will believe. So my dear friends, did Jesus know that Lazarus is going to die? Yes, he knew. But Lazarus' death, my dear friends, was a death for a purpose. He going late was for a reason. Lazarus' death and his eventual coming back to life was so that his disciples and the people around him would come to trust in him as their Lord and Savior. Let me appeal to you, my dear friends, at this point in time. Are you going through some difficulties in life, some struggles? Maybe you lost a loved one. You're going through some financial difficulties. Probably you're going through some kind of depression. Probably you're feeling delusional. You've not been to church for a long time. And you're probably feeling very upset and maybe even suspecting there is no God. You are going through that Lazarus death experience. But guess what? Jesus is on his way to your house. Jesus is assuring you that he is the resurrection and life, that the difficulties that you go through, despite your belief in him, your life, my dear friends, shall be a testimony to the people around you. So I urge you, do not allow your suffering to go to waste, my dear friends, because you are suffering for a reason. You are suffering because you know that Jesus will not forsake you, that he will be there with you every step of the way. That is the word of God, and the word of God is life. I want you to know that Jesus loves you.
and he is on his way to your home. He is making you alive. God bless you, my dear friends.